Hi everybody, in this video we will make a programmable robot arm with the 4 degrees of freedom robot arm. Robot arm will has two basic functions. The first is serve a position record. Each record is for a step. And the other to play the recorded positions. It can record and play 8 positions using 4 potentiometers and 2 buttons. But you can add as many as you want. Also, a NOLED display has been added for you to view each position while you are recording. Let's make it. Attach the potentiometers onto breadboard. One leg connect to VCC input of the breadboard. The other leg connect to GND input of the breadboard. The middle leg connect to analog 1, 2, 3 and 4 input of the Arduino respectively. Attach two pieces buttons onto breadboard. The 10 kilo ohm resistor connect to the one leg of the button, other leg of the resistor is connected to GND input of the breadboard. The button legs to which the resistor is connected will be connected to the digital 12 and 13 inputs of the Arduino. Other legs of the buttons connect to VCC input of the breadboard. Attach the OLED display onto breadboard. The OLED display VCC connect to the VCC input of the breadboard. GND connect to the GND input of the breadboard. The OLED display SDA connect to the SDA input of the Arduino. SCL connect to the SCL input of the Arduino. The Arduino's 5 volts and ground output is connected to the breadboard VCC and GND inputs. Connections of the robot arm. The power for the servos should be separated from the Arduino and other components. An external power supply of 6 or 9 volts should work without problems. The signal inputs of the servo motors are connected to digital PWM3, 4, 5, and 6 inputs of the Arduino. We have completed the connections with this section. Source code of the project. First download the library needed for the OLED display to work, then move it to Arduino's libraries folder. You can find the library link in the video description. The source code looks complicated, but if you did the connections as shown, the code would run smoothly. For all the products used in the project, you can find links in the video description. Explanations have been added in the source code. Do not forget to subscribe for support. Thank you for watching.